What's going on, Screaming Eagles? This is Jet Eagle 101 here. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. In our last video, we were up in the mountains trying to f find some shelter. We went to go check out a little homestead. Old Driscoll's are about. And we say, well, we found a young woman, Sadie Adler, and her homestead was burnt down. Then we went to go find John Marston, who got lost up in the mountains. Animals eaten to death by wolves. So, with that, we are going to continue from where we left off. But before we do that, I just want to remind you guys, if you like the game so far, hit that like button. If you got something to say about it, hit down in the comment section. Want to be part of the Screaming Eagle, some more exclusive content. Hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification for more upcoming videos by Jet Eagle 101 Alright. So here we are as Arthur Morgan. Let's go see Mr. Pearson. See if we can do anything with him. Hey, Mr. Pearson. <coughs> We're gonna starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what, 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. <laughs> I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need something neat out there. Assorted salted offal. Starving will be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Mm-mm. Come along. <coughs> Here, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. <laughs> I like Charles. This way. He's funny. Charles is funny. How are you holding up, Charles? I'm okay. Apart from this hand. Stupid mistake. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. I uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. So, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way. Find some higher ground. Okay. <laughs> You're the expert, Charles. Been a wild few days, all right. That ride north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, bringing John back in. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that. Just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. <laughs> well, Javier told me a bit, but. It sure weren't good. Sounds like it. Sounds like it was not good at all. But apparently it had a lot of money. And that's all that matters. Quote on Dutch. Mm-hmm. 
There's some patches of grass here. This is good. Come on, let's try this way. Okay. Keep your eyes peeled for movement. I'm keeping an eye out as best I can. The winds died down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now shh. Stay quiet. Hmm. Hey, stop here a second. I see something. Deer been here recently. How can you tell? How can you not? Track them on foot. Keep down. Move quietly and slowly. You see the tracks? I think so. Maybe not. Focus. My eagle eye. It's easier in the snow, but once you get your eye in, you'll be able to track nearly as well in grass and woods. Hmm. Thanks, Charles. See one right there. Wait, look. There they are. Are you ready with that bow? Try to hit him in the neck or head. Nice. See if you can get another one. All right. I got him. I got him. Done. I think that's all we can carry. Sweet. Okay, you pick up one, I'll get the other. All right. You sure your hands are okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. Okay. <laughs> okay. My hunting skills precede me. <laughs> I'll try to get this one packed on my horse if I can get to him. That's all I gotta do. Alright, let's go. I'm right behind you, Charles. Should be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. You found him. <laughs> I knew you'd be okay with that bow. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> I've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck is finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And even if we do get off here, 
What that? We still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. All right. Notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater. We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. A lot of mouths to feed. And that girl from the ranch now too, but not sure she'll be eating much. She has a wild look in her eye. You would too. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. Huh. So what do we do with her? Once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. So it was O'Driscoll's you ran into there? Yeah. <laughs> Last thing we was expecting. What is it with the O'Driscoll's? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Big gang. Nasty sons of bitches. Their leader, Comb, and Dutch go way back. And not in a good way. A proper blood feud. Mm -hmm. So I heard. Watch out. Bear up ahead. Let's see if we can find another way around. Well, he's got a lot of meat on him. We've got enough here. No need to push our luck. He must be real hungry. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. Mm-hmm. I agree. Okay. We ain't ever talked that much, you and me. How long you been with us now? Five, six months? Something like that. But you didn't expect this. What? Any of this. Blackwater mess. Being up here? Ah. Sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. I just... No, you could run it alone. No problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. I was wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch... You know... Dutch is different. Oh, yes. Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Uh, 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> taught me to read. John, too. Taught me a few other things. And Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. That saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. Yeah, Dutch sounds like a good fellow back then before we went crazy. How's that new horse? He's all right. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. Huh. 
I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the cow once. Fuck me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. <sighs> I'm gonna hitch time over here. All right. You do that. I I don't know what to call him. Some food back, boys. <sighs> Come on, let's get these over to Pearson. Uh, thank you for showing me how to use the boat properly. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. Mm-hmm. Just drop it! What a surprise! Find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid. Oh, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. <laughs> See you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yes. Oh. Seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. We'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. Go get to skin you. <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. <laughs> this really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skin that one, you, you dumped on the floor there. All right, I'll skin it. Yeah. Skin. Let's skin. Not bad. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else... Uh, you bring it to me. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting. After all these years. Yeah. Well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Master Hunter number one. Whew. Okay. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so let's see here. You have a Day alert there, Javier. Hello. Oh sweet, I got gold on that one. I got it for kill each deer with one arrow, do not spook either deer, and get a clean kill on the second deer. Cool. Alright, let's go see what's oh, going on boys, here. Because I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the lamb, and you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you, of course. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Mm. I guess I guess folks miss them. That fell. But when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> <laughs> what a party. <laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. Funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard. You want to sit around wait for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. You sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Both been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como Driscoll. Let's go. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You... You always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about more than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about trains and detonators. Here. Cole? Always had good information. Come on. And you <laughs> think now is the right time to hit a train? Now you might fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit, 
I'm getting too old for that life. Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson, would you please look after the place? There are O'Driscolls about. Yeah. Okay. So we got a lasso now. Southwest, right, Arthur? Yeah. He said follow the main trail southwest. They're camped near some lake. Okay. Let's go find these bastards before they find us and rob this score they're planning. All right, Dutch. I'll follow you on this one. Quite a few of them. As far as I can tell, the only fools out here are us and them. They must be this way. You good, Dutch? Of course. Listen, I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but this is the right move. Okay. You know I got your back. I learned a long time ago that you hit Como Driscoll. Wait for him, and people you love will die. This feud between you and him needs to be put to rest, one way or another. <laughs> it will be. Some things I can forgive, others I can't forget. What he did to Hannibal, I can't do neither. You killed his brother, Dutch. Yes, I did. And I hope the bastards will be reunited soon enough. Mm -hmm. That's how this will end. <clears throat> Damn right, boss. See that smoke? Let's cut up here and take a look. They said it was near the lake, so we must be close. Mm hmm. We are getting close. Goddamn ready. Mm -hmm. Ready, Dutch. Good. Now, Mr. Morgan and I, we're gonna head up here a little, see if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp. Mr. Williamson, Mr. Bell, you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp. Mr. Summers, Mr. Esquela, you two hold position here. Let's go. see what we can find around here there they are that's definitely them home oh, I think so yeah that's him Hmm. Hmm. Who's he talking to? He don't seem very happy. No. They leaving? Seem to be. Should we go get him? No. Cone can wait. Best to get some of them out of there. And much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. Come on, let's get down there. Okay. Let's go. Don't forget to grab that rifle from your horse. You 
boys be ready to pick them off from up there. <laughs> sure thing. Good. Come on, let's go. Maybe get some. to take the same path down as Bill and Micah. Like you said, revenge is a luxury we can't afford. Yeah, just wasn't sure you agreed with me. Arthur. Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? Our needs right now are supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including coal, can wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is. Now come on. Mm, yeah, there is quite a bit down there. Yeah, you go ahead of me, Dutch. Seems like the wise idea. It's steep here. Careful. Maybe I should take the lead on this. They're going to be gunning for you. They ain't got me yet. No, but the way our luck's been running... Hush. Let's just get down there first. It's quite a ways just... Through these trees, quick. Quite a ways to go through this. Surprise. Get in cover, Arthur. So, what are we doing, Dutch? I can take this if you want. Just make the call. You want to take the lead? Go. Yeah. Saw him with my own two eyes. We don't have time to debate this. First, I wouldn't have done. Then I didn't have much choice. Was picking his teeth off the floor. Children, skulls, you're dead, you sons of bitches. I'm moving up. Put some fire behind me. It's gone down. Ah! Here goes, sir. Let's go. Oh, I gotta aim better. Ooh. That's how we do it. That's all of them. Search the bodies. Strip everything we can from them. You recognize any of them, Dutch? Of course not. Paul doesn't give a damn about his men. All he cares about is numbers. 
If you can shoot a gun and ride a horse and kill without thought, you're in. Think how long some of you have been with me. I imagine Tom doesn't even know half the names of these fools. Mm-hmm. Probably not. Heads up, boys! We got more coming in from the quarry. I did lose them in the trees because I can't see them. <laughs> Find what we can. I already did select the dead eye tonic. I already got it all. We don't have time to mess around. But I'm just looting. Don't worry about me. We're waiting on you, Arthur. Right here. Arthur, get over all right, here. Alright, alright. Tear this place apart. Bill, you go search that wagon there. Mike, search that building. Arthur, you take that building to the left. All right, man, quick. Find those detonators, explosives, anything you can. Let's go. Okay, I will. Cigar, health care. Another cigar, crackers, canned vegetables, and chewing Tabasco. What's in the chest? Gin, a coin purse. I'm finding all kinds of stuff. <clears throat> stuff around here. Can't carry any more cigars. Oh well. Here. This looks good. What do you think, Bill? Well, looks fine. Smells good. Come on. Did we get everything? Think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's keep moving. All right, let's roll. All right, let's get out of here. Proud of you, boys. All of you. Not a man down. Good work, fellas. Not bad for some starving down and outs. 
They can pummel us hard as they like. But we will always get back up and fight. That's who we are. Outlaws for life, fellas. Wait until we have John, Mac, Charles, and Sean back riding with us, and I believe, I know, they will all be back. Well, you didn't get combed, but this head will hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Especially when we rob this train, too. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see about that. Oh, indeed we will. You know, he'll come after us. Oh, of course he will, just like all the rest. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna stay a step ahead of them. Make sure we always know where they are before they know where we are. We allowed ourselves to get a step behind in Blackwater. That won't happen again. All right, dig in, fellas. Let's make some ground. Come here, you. You're coming with me. Come on, I, I, I'm nobody, mister. This is uh, very kind of you. You got me mixed up with someone else. Oh, God, no. <laughs> What's your name, boy? I don't know. You don't know your name? It's Kieran. Kieran what? Duffy. Kieran Duffy. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is a real bad day for you, Kieran Duffy. Where are you taking me? Somewhere you ain't gonna like. Why? What are you gonna do to me? Something you ain't gonna like. So I'd advise you to save your breath for screaming. No, please! <laughs> we got old Kieran Duffy here. Don't do this, please! It's ascension, it's an easy thing to do. I I'm no use to you! Shut your mouth, you little shitter. I will shut it for you. Oh, God, please, no. Oh, take it easy. You're gonna break my ribs. I don't want to die, mister. Are you trying to test me? Is that it? Because I will break every bone in your body. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Not one more goddamn word. Am I clear? Okay, okay. That's two bones right there. <laughs> to your new home hope you're real happy here you want me to make him talk oh no now all we'll get is lies uncle mr. Williamson tie this maggot up someplace safe we get him hungry first I got a saying my friend we shoot fellas as need shooting save fellas 
is need saving, and feed them is need feeding. We are gonna find out what you need. I can't believe it! An O'Driscoll in my camp! No, I ain't an O'Driscoll, mister! I, I hate that fella! Oh, whatever you say, son! Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on Cole. Oh, there's time enough for that. <laughs> now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train. Okay. Okay. A few days later. It's been a bad few weeks. But Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans. And Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Okay, so at this point, we are going to end the video from right here. I don't know. I keep forgetting sometimes I do this where... They automatically put you to the next mission when you get done with their mission. So, with that, we are going to end the video from right here. And we'll continue it, this part, onto an upcoming video. So, I will hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. If you got something to say about it, hit down in the comment section. Want to be part of the Screaming Eagles for more exclusive content? Hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification for more upcoming videos by Jet Eagle 101 Have a good one.